you hit the Canadian. Oh, I gotta change my rear tire because I think it's already uh, weathered. Well guys, I'll be starting my uh, how-to videos. First off, we gotta start with how to ride a scooter, you know? For the very first time. Well, first off, you gotta find a place, you know? A, you know, a secret place. <laughs> you know, a secret place where there's nobody in there. Or it's clear with cars. Or as a sakyan. Uh, it's safe. Wala mga tao. And that's what you gotta do. You gotta find a place. Or uh, an empty parking lot. It's just really simple, you know. Basically, a scooter is an automatic trans has an automatic transmission. So it shouldn't be a problem. But safety-wise, it will be a big problem if you let your kids do the... Touch your scooter because there's no gearing on it. When you twist the throttle, it's just twist and go, you know? It, the safety, the things you gotta remember, because basically motorcycling is not that simple, it's not basic. If you know how to drive a car, it's really a different thing. I learned from experience, you know? Based on my experience, I've been driving for, well, I've been driving a car until now. <laughs> And their experience in a car before I uh, before I ride before I practice motorcycling or scootering whatever you call it I was driving cars for 11 years already but when I practiced on a scooter well you get the idea because it's just the same throttle and whatever it's just the difference is you're using your feet when driving a car see how stupid they are they should have stopped right here and let the ambulance overtake Stupid Filipinos. I'm lucky I'm a Filipino too, so I'm stupid too. <laughs> All drivers here in the Philippines need a seminar in those things. You know? The problem with our roads, they're not ambulance ready, you know. You always admire other nations like Germany and how they treat their ambulance. But the problem with them here is our roads are not ambulance ready. You see that? There's no clearance. It's just the road. No clearance on the side. It's all... Whatever. So... We keep on praising the other nations, the other countries, on how they treat their uh, ambulance. But in here, the road. It's not ambulance ready. It's not emergency ready for that matter. I don't know. No clearance, right? How can we do that if there's nothing to go to, you know? So that's how in the Facebook video, uh, maybe you saw it, and how they treat their ambulance in Germany. And there's no ambulance route. But I would suggest that there will be an ambulance route. Only ambulance can go to that area. One place to another. No traffic. It's a big project, but maybe... That's a good thing, you know? That's a start. An ambulance road. Right? Wrong. <laughs> it's up to you and how you take it. But that's my opinion for that matter. I'm going to be starting my how-to series. I hope that this will, this will be successful. And because the main reason why I started a vlog because I haven't seen anyone doing a vlog with scooters, you know? There, there's someone 
but he already stopped, you know. Somebody who will be riding a scooter and vlogging, not those big ass motorcycles, you know, the boom boom, all this kind of thing, the 600 up, because basically people are so interested in those bikes, not scooters, because people think that when you ride, it's all about speed, well, it's not, until you learn the basics, you gotta learn the basics, correct me if I'm wrong, but when you started riding, it's not directly speeding or whatever, you gotta learn the basics. You gotta learn the counter steering and how to ride a motorcycle safely. 